If you have multi-vessel coronary artery disease, it's very likely that your doctor has suggested that you need open heart surgery. And that's a very good treatment. You'll do very well and it'll make you feel better and it'll make you live longer. But of course, if you're really interested to know whether you're suitable for keyhole heart surgery, these are the things that we as doctors use to decide whether it is possible. Clearly, if you've got a single block to the front of the heart to an artery called the LAD, the left anterior descending artery, a keyhole approach at the keyhole heart clinic is the preferred approach. It avoids the breastbone break. It's a very straightforward thing to do. If you've got blocks in more than uh, that region of your heart artery, it's more difficult to get to because the other arteries are either on the side or underneath the heart. Having said that, we are as surgeons able to reach those areas in certain circumstances. If physically you're the right shape, if the heart arteries are blocked in the right places, and of course, if your heart is otherwise functioning reasonably well. In some patients, we have to use the heart-lung machine to do multivessel revascularization. And in order to assess you before we start, we would do a CT scan to assess the health of your aorta so that we can place micropipes into your groin to place you on the heart-lung machine to do those multivessel bypass grafts. Now, there are some patients where the CT scan won't allow that to be the case because there's furring in the aorta and so putting micropipes in your groin is not a safe thing to do in that circumstance. In those patients, we can sometimes do hybrid revascularization where we perform the lemma to the LAD, that front artery, the most important thing that surgeons can do to improve the blood supply of your heart. And then a few days later, or sometimes on the same day, our cardiologist can place stents into the other areas of your blocked heart arteries in order to give you the complete revascularization. So if you're interested to know more about this, give us a call or speak to your doctor. He may have some idea about keyhole heart surgery in your locality, and we'd be very happy to help you. Bye for now.